James Mansfield. Hi everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another live stream. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is yet again Wig Wednesday. Yes. Wig Wednesday and I am here in my lovely salon bringing you yet another hairstyling video. So I'm so excited. I see some of us are already arriving here on YouTube. It's good to see that. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hey, Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Um, Jose, Gabriel, hello. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, what else is going on here? I'm Twitch. Hello. Um, it's a bot. Oh, it's a bot. Oh, that's so lame. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started, shall we? How are you guys doing? I'm a little early, but you guys already know, like, I like to pop on a little early just, you know, for shits and giggles. It's fun for me. And I was bored, so I wanted to get on earlier. So here we are. <laughs> oh, Mortimer, it's on Twitch. Like, sometimes they have bots that show up there in the chat rooms promoting stuff or whatnot. Who knows? Anyways, I try not to pay any attention to them. This is about me. So, welcome, everyone. Oh, the music's not on. Let's put the music on. Okay, here we are. <sighs> Want the music on? We can officially begin. Oh. Okay, we see some people arriving over on Twitch. Hello, welcome. You're not late, you're just early, early. Okay, here we go. Hello, Jeremy over on YouTube. Now you guys, for this week, I wanted to do something, like I did a little previously in my last live stream. I wanted to like style another drag king hairstyle because I feel like it's very underrepresented on YouTube. There's not a whole lot of drag king hairstyler like videos. So I was gonna do one today a different hairstyle like last time I did more of like a straight you know slick back we're gonna do more of a dandy hairstyle today a dazzling dandy here in the Queen of the Ring red which we do not have anymore this is the last one I have in stock so I'm gonna make it and we're gonna sell it so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> but it's a fun bright red color and it's just been sitting here so I'm like let's just make something with it why the hell not Oh my god, I see an alert happening over on Twitch. What happened? Queen just followed you. Well, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. My god, welcome to the Wiglet family. My Wiglet over there on Twitch. Oh my goodness. What's a follow? Not a subscription. Oh, it's a follow. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> never mind. So they just, they follow me, which I still appreciate. It's still good, you know? A follow is still good. You know, they're a half wig, I guess. <laughs> a topper. A hair piece, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, hello everybody. Oh, that's a fun emote they're using over on Twitch. I don't know what that means, but it looks like foxes or something. I can't tell. Everything's a blur for me. Now, I think it started curling this because it's going to start long. And I'm going to cut the shit out of it. So, first things first, got to start curling it. So, let's put in a standard curl pattern. I'm going from like a more vintage dandyish kind of hairstyle, like 1940s romantic kind of hair for a man. That's what we're going to do today. But requires a curl set of some sort, as many of these hairstyles do, because, well, hair just ain't naturally curly like that. <laughs> sort of like a play on like a Marcel wave, I guess. The men's hairstyles, the more shorter they get, the easier it is to do the Marcel wave on. But yes, yeah, so we're just doing a standard wig set. I have this everywhere on my YouTube channel. It's what I use for like all my hairstyles, including this one. Like it's an old favorite. That nice like Diana Doors, Ginger Rogersy kind of hair set. It's very versatile. Start teasing this. There we go. Put that down. Ah, oh, and if you guys like my hair today, I'm actually wearing human hair today. Look at the movement. Oh my goodness. I'm a girl. <laughs> well, I was bored and I like was practicing out my waving and I just wanted to like practice waving on like a human hair set. I'm not quite there yet. Like it's really hard to get the Marcel waves to like really stay in it. But I'm always practicing. I'm always trying to figure it out because like in a synthetic wig, that stays there. But human hair, it's a different beast, you know. With a style, it'll be beautiful for like exactly an hour and then it starts to droop away. So we're working, we're learning, we're always learning. Oh, I think I put permatease in this too at one point. I was so crazy. I was doing the most. Ugh. Right, here we go. How's everyone?
everyone doing today on this lovely Wednesday, a wig Wednesday? Personally, I'm doing fantastic. You know, we did the legs day today, so I'm exhausted and dead from the waist down, but you know what? We're healthy and that's what matters. Coming up and down these stairs has been a considerable chore, and I'm making a point not to do it as much as possible. <laughs> Also, we just bought a new dog toy for Puff, and let me just tell you, I have the laziest dog in the entire world. Now, we got one of those, like, boredom treats for him, because he's home alone quite a bit. Sometimes we, like, go over on errands. So, like, we just don't want him to be home alone bored or anything, you know, or to get depressed. So, we got one of those, like, entertainment treat toys, or, like, it's a piece of plastic, and it's a giant treat hidden inside of it. And in a perfect world, the dog would actually, like, you know, lick it clean and get the treat out. But Puff literally, like, grabbed it, cried, threw it down, and never looked at it again. And then brings it to us sometimes, hoping we'll just take the treat out for him. And it's like, that's not how it works. You're supposed to like use your brain, but he just, he refuses. He just goes back to laying down. So evidently it's not depression, it's just laziness that he has. That's what I've, you know, determined. Dr. James has deduced, my dog is not depressed, he is just lazy. Oh, our children are just like us, aren't they? Let's see. James, make that wig hit the ceiling. I mean, it will have a lot of volume because we're going for like a very fancy man. I like to call this hairstyle the fancy man, the dandy. And dandies historically have always had very, very, very <laughs> eccentric hair and spent a lot of time on it. So we're going to go for it. It's going to be very Hunger Games. Think like Stanley Tucci in the Hunger Games. That's the vibe we're going for. It's going to be on my site for the Fit for the King series. So just keep a lookout for it. Ugh, here we are. For <laughs> Jambo said, Pub is a master manipulator. <laughs> I mean, not so much a master because I didn't take the treat out. Like, it's just sitting there now going to waste. So, I mean, maybe I'll eventually break and take it out for him because I'm tired of tripping over it or something. But yeah, he's not depressed. He's just bored, which is uh, which is better, I guess. That's better, you know. <laughs> awesome Queen on Twitch said, "I'm pretty good. Thank you, James. Getting paid tomorrow, relaxing at home, and getting ready for Pride Month next month." <gasps> I forgot Pride is coming up. Oh my goodness, we gotta oh, do some like Pride prom. Oh, Pride prom. Oh no, yeah, it's only March, isn't it? I guess gay pride doesn't happen here until October. So like, I'm not used to a place where gay pride happens so late. <laughs> in, in Vegas, it's so damn hot, they celebrate in October. And in Milwaukee, they would celebrate it in June. Yeah, it was June, when it was summertime. Usually everyone else support, celebrates it then too. So yeah, it's interesting. And I guess like pride season is going to start sparking up soon. Pride prom, what is that? That sounds fun. Also, is the stream lagging? Yeah, is the stream lagging? Let me know. I mean, there's not much we can do about it. We just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for our peace of mind. <laughs> I'm like, we might have to get up an internet provider and be like, um, upgrade us again. Right, it's like, I'm already paying so much. <laughs> Why is it going so slow? I get to put on like the Karen wig and like really go to town on the phone. Spirit, Spirit, I don't know how to pronounce that name, sorry. But on Twitch said, there's a little lag, but it could be worse. Yeah, I could be dead, you know? And there will be no one to go live for you on Wednesdays and teach you hairstyling, you know? One of these days I won't be here anymore and it's gonna be up to you to remember everything I told you. Oh my God, I finally got to have that moment. <laughs> I got to act like a mom. You know, one of these days, I won't be around anymore. <laughs> oh, I used to hate it when my mom would say that. It's like, James, clean your room because I won't be around to help you anymore do it. I was like, baby, when you're not around, it's just going to stay dirty. <laughs> After the fourth year, it doesn't get any dirtier. Duke Marine wants to know, does that wig have tinsel? It and it, does. And use your uh, question emote. <gasps> Thank you for using the question remote. Yes, it does have tinsel in it. It has like, ow, 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 ow. 
that one stabbed me in the hand. It has um, blue, green, silver, yellow, so almost like an assortment of colors. I think there's red in there too, so I guess a rainbow tinsel, like assortment of colors mixed in throughout it. Like it's a really fun wig, very festive. And it was named Queen of the Ring after my now deceased series with Sylvia Nicks where we, you know, discussed wrestling. If she ever decides to get back and drag, maybe it'll come back. But in the meantime, it's, it is unfortunately canceled. Poor, poor Sylvia. Although she's doing great. She is back in Milwaukee and she's back doing drag, sort of. She's participating in the shadow cast in Rocky Horror there. So if you're in Milwaukee, just look up Rocky Horror Milwaukee. You should find it. You know, I think it's like something illusions. I don't know exactly. It's Oriental Theater in Milwaukee. So if you ever want to see a shadow cast with Sylvia in it, there you go. I think she just played Frank in one of it. So that's really cool. That was a new feat for her. I made a wig for her for it. I also made a wig for her to do Eddie as well. So, you know, if you want to see Sylvia Nicks and Half Drag sing Hot Patootie, Bless My Soul, now's your chance. <laughs> Jose Parral on YouTube said, Saludos desde El Paso, Texas. Ernie, saluda me a mi mija, James. She basically said, um, greet my daughter, James. Oh, thank you. I'm her daughter, she said. Or they're my daughter. Well, you know, it's like a term of endearment. Okay. It's like, it's sort of like when Nikki says, all these bitches are my sons. Mm -hmm. It's like a term of endearment. She means it lovingly. At least that's why I interpret it as. Prince Harming said on Twitch, happy wig Wednesday. Hey, Harming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, do we figure out the sounds? Are the sounds there now? Yeah. Okay, good. We don't have a question for you then. We're good. <laughs> I was going to bug you for a minute about Twitch stuff, but... We figured it out on our own because we're self-sufficient. But welcome, enjoy the stream. We're in the curling process right now, so I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as possible so that we can get the actual styling, which is the fun part. I don't know, and I'm over here trying to fix the lagging on that side, but I think we're just gonna have to like, live with a little lagging today. You know, they're just gonna have to live through this, okay? It's like a whole album, live through it, all right? What a good album, by the way. I got doll parts or Violet, everything. Rex Truck said, it's James Mansfield, the one and only original wig whisperer, and Ernie, too. Mwahaha. Thanks, Rex. You see, I use that on the pit stop. <laughs> I was debating just putting it in my bio at this point, because I actually do like it now. I used to be very confused by it, but I like it now. You know, I'm embracing my inner Jennifer Love Hewitt and whispering to wigs. Okay, you got Subscribe. Um, Prince, oh, no, no. Autumn Queen, bringing it back to the previous, that Pride Prom is for those in the LGBTQ plus community who never have experienced their regular prom due to discrimination, etc. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. It's like a little prom celebration. I love that. Okay, that's really, really cute. What a fun idea. I like that. Yeah, I went to a gay school, so it was a Pride Prom no matter what. <laughs> My high school was very gay. But that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, take back the night. Reclaim prom. Make it gay. Pear face said, really enjoy the domestic goddess video. That chocolate cake looked delicious. Pear face, shh. No one knows it's out yet. Oh my god. They don't know that it's exclusive right now to my wiglets. Oh my goodness. The treats I give you folks. <laughs> But thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know, we just figured out how to make a, you know, you know, a, a early access video. So we're like, you know, we're really, you know, getting it together over here. Well, they also might not, might not know what you're talking about. Oh, that's true. That adds another air of mystery. Maybe it'll be out tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> no, some people don't know that you have YouTube memberships yet. Oh, that's right. You're absolutely right. Look at me just like gabbing on about nothing. Um, yes, we do have YouTube memberships now, so if you want to have the exclusive emotes that are themed after moi, you can. You also get early access to videos as well as badges to show your loyalty. And you can interpret those any way you want, like Pokemon badges or whatever, you know. It's like, you know, I got, you know, the cosplay badge, which I think is like week, month four or something. The, you start off with the basic one, which is a sensible bob. <laughs> I wish you were allowed to name the tiers. That would make it even better. <laughs> I'd have had a lot of fun with that. 
Alright, so Essa um, Gatia just followed you on Twitch and said, So cool to see you make drag king wigs. Maybe I will finally make one for myself. Haha. <laughs> I love it. And if you do, be sure and tag me in it because I love when people do that. Again, like I'm teaching a very, very easy one. Like this is a standard wig that you could do. And it also could work for like, you know, more of an androgynous female look too. Like it's not exactly necessarily drag king. But it's what I'm calling it, because I always think of like dandies when I see hair like this, like Oscar Wilde kind of hair. Mortimer on YouTube said, the lag reminds me of AIM camp chat, lol, I love it. <laughs> oh my god, AIM, oh, unlocked a core memory for me, oh my god. That like door closing sound, whenever you got in a fight with your friend and like they immediately signed out of their computer, that's how you knew. You done messed up. <laughs> that loud door slam. Also, for years, I thought tattoos, all the things she said, had the AIM door slam like recorded into it because I had downloaded it off LimeWire at that time. And whoever it was that recorded it had their AIM going. So like someone signed out while they were like bootlegging it. So for years, I thought ta all the things she said had that door in it. And like when I listened to it recently, I was like, oh wait, no, I was just horrible and bootlegged something. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that dated me a lot. <laughs> Lime wire. No one knows what that is anymore. Oh, it used to be rough. Neil McPhee on Twitch said, oh my God, I love you so much. I didn't know you streamed on Twitch. Oh yes, welcome. Hello. Come hang out. We're styling here today. Wig Wednesdays, I always am styling a wig. And then on other days of the week, uh, you may see me pop up here and playing video games. We're currently playing Until Dawn at the moment. So if you like horror, you know, come and sit down and watch me try and keep some teenagers alive from a serial killer. Hairface on YouTube said, my new name is Sensible Bob. <laughs> it's a great drag name, honestly. Sensible Bob. And who wants to know, did you get the skillet yet? I did not. I did not. Like, I was just at the store and I completely forgot to stop in and grab anything because there's one right by my gym. So, like, I'm pretty sure they probably sell the dolly stuff there and I just didn't stop in. There's a lot of stuff I meant to get. Like, I meant to get another one of these little Barbie cars because, girl, I just found out it moves and it's unlocked a whole nother level of terror from me. <laughs> The way I chase the dog around in the backyard with that car, although the battery life isn't that strong in it because I use old batteries, so he easily outran it. But, you know, the threat was there. <laughs> Brian Edmonds on YouTube said, Hi, James. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh, this one broke. Let's not use that one. Okay, that one's enough. Stab myself in the hand again. Century Countess on YouTube said, it's been a while. I can't remember if you said you wanted to do historical hair, but if you do, let me know. I'll show you the rag curl method. Oh, rag curl? What is that? I don't, you don't have to like go into too much detail. Just give me like a quick description so I can look it up and learn for myself. I don't want to cheat, but it sounds fascinating. Is it like curling with like towels? So I think I saw Wigs by Vanity do something like that a long time ago. Like cut up towels and she curled her hair with it. Curl, 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 curl. All right, we're almost ready to start steaming. Let's see. LimeWire, our old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yes, LimeWire. It was a time. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Let's see. Victorian ladies curling their hair with ribbons, cloths, and old stocking stockings? What? They were using stockings? Oh my God, so like there's women running around with like their hair smelling like feet. <laughs> Victorian feet, so Laura only knows what that smells like. My goodness. It had to be such a stinky time back then. Cause like I imagine soap wasn't where it was yet. I'm back, I'm trying to check our internet, but oh well. It's fine, you know, they can live with a little lag. You know, they're good. They're hanging out, they're eating, they're fine. What I miss? I just looked up and I missed something. 
do, do, do. Okay, what we missed was, because I was downstairs. Yeah. Turny, I can't, turn it fit. Just subscribe to you on Twitch with Prime. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, a Prime subscription. Ah, uh, so I missed a little Prime delivery man all tied up. That's fine. I just moved it now so I actually can see the alerts. For some reason, they don't pop up on the YouTube one. But sure. they do, like they do later on, like the, the later broadcast, but not while I'm watching him real time. So if I have this one going, I can't see it. Well, there's a delay on the live. Oh no, they just don't pop up. Like they show up on Twitch though. That's why I like thought, like when I was watching my live back, I thought they don't show up on YouTube because in real time they don't actually come up. Yeah, because there's a delay. Lies! <laughs> Lies! I'm right, you are wrong. It's like Matilda. Okay, here we go. All right. Ugh. Okay, it's not plugged in. Okay. Ugh. I got plug in my steamer so that we can get cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Mortimer Ugh. on YouTube said, a little lag, a little of the 90s era and the Barbie room. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. 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 Is it on? Is it recording? There it goes, okay. Steamer time. This thing is always in the way, oh my God. Ugh. All right. I think we got it in. <laughs> oh, it's always chaos here. Okay, time to steam this way. I'm probably gonna burn the crap out of my hand doing this, but it is what it is. All right. Pay no attention to my my Smith's bag that's on top. Again, like use any bag you have. The steamer might be on its last legs too because it is quite old. She is quite, quite old. Here we go. Now she's cooking. I think for the live, since sometimes we have lags and some people don't want to sit for like an hour, we should like recreate these uh, wigs for a regular like bod. Oh yeah, that'd be cute. So you're gonna say, stop trying to make VOD happen. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what VOD means, but I just like, okay. Video on the man, like your regular videos. Oh, okay. It makes me think of like, you know, I don't know, I don't think of myself in terms of like a streaming service, I guess. <laughs> Even though I'm technically streaming right now. It's like, like I'm WoW Presents Plus, what's going on? But I guess I do kind of pump out content in that manner. I don't really think about it that way. I just think about it as me, you know, giving a gift to my friends. <laughs> so Anita Bidet on Twitch asked, have you tried that setting lotion from Sally's to set your human hair wigs? The blue stuff, it's the best and holds Marcel waves very well. You what? typically want to mix it with water in a spray bottle because it'll make the hair rock hard. <gasps> what is it called? And let me know right now because I saw um, Daphne Beauty post a video where she said she was using a setting thing like that too. I've never used it before, so it's gonna be a new adventure for me. Again, like I've, I'll take this style down immediately and restyle it because I like wet set it in rollers and I just did like a little, I had a steam set to it with a little bit of hairspray. But again, like the curls started to fall right away, which kind of annoyed me. Like human hair, especially trying to do like the vintage sets is always like relearn, reteaching myself. And a lot of those books, when you read them, they're written in terms where like, you have to like, have been a hairdresser back in the fifties to understand it. Cause like a lot of the terms are dead and don't exist anymore. Prince Harmin also said, the plastic bag over the wig head always feels a little serial killery. It's a little Black Christmas. I always make that joke whenever I'm doing it. It's a little that, but you know what? It works. It's the best way to do it. And it's the only way I really know to get the best results. Cause steam is good because it gets really hot, but it's not gonna get too, too hot where it's gonna like sear your wig unless you're really trying to, you know? You gotta really try with steam to burn it. Like, don't put it directly on it the whole time, or of course you're gonna burn it. People are saying that it sounds like you're growing coffee. Ooh! <laughs> put the kettle on! That plus the AC, it might sound like something. Yeah, I'm sure there's a whole menagerie of sounds you're experiencing right now. Uh. One arm, move the steamer. I was so impressed because yes, like the other day I went to fabric shopping with my with Justin and my daughter Bryce. 
And I pulled out a huge bolt of fabric just with one arm. And the lady even looked at me, she's like, whoa. <laughs> like, I felt like the Incredible Hulk. I was like, oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> now imagine if I was, now imagine if I was lifting that thing up like I'm like China from wrestling, like right. choke slammed it. Anita Bade said, there's the link. It's what my grandma always used back in the 50s and 60s to said, ladies hair, it's called a lot of body. Ooh, and it's got a cute name. Yep. Lotta Body Concentrated, Concentrated Setting Lotion. Write it down. I have it right here. She gave us a link. All right, great. Okay, because I want to try it out. Because again, like with Marcel waves, like they're so hard. Like trying to do one on human hair, it's really, really hard to get them to stay. See, I, I should try out a setting lotion or something. So good, that, good idea. I heard women doing that, but I was like, I also heard you could substitute with water and hair, water and like hairspray. Does not work the same. <laughs> lies. They are lies, they tell me. All right, Andrew on YouTube said, she doesn't drink coffee. She drinks 12 Monster Energy drinks and then can't sleep. I can sleep. Oh, trust believe I can sleep. It's just like juicy juice at this point. <laughs> but I have no problems falling asleep. Girl, I was falling asleep at the gym earlier. I'm always yawning. Like, I feel so bad. But it's like I'm sitting there while, like, at the Smith machine, just like, <sighs> just yawning up a storm. Oh my gosh. Right there in the corner, I think. That's the pillowcase. I think it's right there. I'm pointing to it like a dead body. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, look at me. Good eye. I could have been a detective. Probably not, but still. I, you know. Actually, no. Y'all saw me play Jenny LeClue. I couldn't have been a detective at all. I'm not perceptive in the least. I like to think that I am. Okay, here we go. Oh good, they're on an ad break at Twitch anyway. Just heat setting the wig right now, drying it. I think it's almost dried. Just give me a minute. All right. Almost there. Whew, it should be dry now. All right. Oh, in the meantime, I just hang out for a little bit because I have to wait for it to cool off now before I take the rollers out. Oh, how are we doing, kids? What's up with the world? Well, Channel One Texas says, James, can you believe Joanne's filed for bankruptcy? What? Wait, what? And it just went to, it just went to ad break. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, Joanne's filed for bankruptcy? That is devastating. Okay, so hear me out. I have a love-hate relationship with Joanne Fabrics because like, it, for a long time, was the only place I could buy fabric, so I had to, like, learn to love it. But it was always so expensive, and they never had anything really that cute or, like, really drag-friendly. So it's just, like, I love it because it's, like, one of the few fabric stores that's, like, everywhere. But if they're filing for bankruptcy, that means they're going to start closing. So it's like, where the hell am I going to buy fabric now? Like, there's no alternative. The one that used to be everything was this place called Hancock Fabrics, which I don't know if that was like nationwide or what, but Hancock Fabrics back in Milwaukee, it was right down the street from where I lived. It was everything. 
And I remember when they closed down, I bought out so many patterns, so much like stuff, like everything, all these like, you know, notions and everything. <sighs> yeah, bankruptcy. Ugh. It's like the only fabric store left now. Did y'all have Hancock Fabrics where you were? Because I feel like Joann's is the only place. Now we're going to have just Hobby Lobby, and I refuse to go in there. Ugh. So Prince Harming said, Is the tinsel hard to work with, or does it mostly just behave the same as the rest of the hair? It kind of does its own thing, but you can, like, make it behave with you if you need to. Like, I haven't had any problems with it. Sometimes you'll have to snip it because it'll, like, start to do its own thing. And, like, styles and stuff, for, for the most part, it'll go along with stuff. Because it's kind of just there as embellishment anyway. Well, Spirit has said on Twitch, they're still going to be around. It's just a legal tangle with their debt. Oh, okay. So they're doing, like, that old business thing where they basically are just bailing themselves out. Because, like, how are they going bankrupt? They're constantly, like, overcharging for fabric. <laughs> But I always wonder, like, how much the how much do you think they've actually ever made from selling fabric? I imagine like framing and everything is probably where they make all their money. And the craft section and garden probably is what makes most of the money. Fabric is just kind of there because you know it's what they're known for. We have Minnesota Fabrics and Mill and Textiles. <gasps> and Hancock's. So Y'all are spoiled for fabrics in Minnesota. My gosh. Yeah, we had Hancock for like up until the end of the 90s, and then they all closed out. And then just Joann's. And like when I first started sewing, I was making felt dolls, so it was a lot easier because like it was cheaper. But now that I actually started sewing and learning how to use fabrics, it's like now I've learned the pain of overspending money on fabric. Well, Camellia said, oh no, I missed half the life. What did I miss? Um, for the most part, we just curled the wig, so you haven't really missed anything. I haven't actually styled anything. I just did a standard curl set. This is just my usual, like, finger wave set. So nothing major. We haven't actually started making the style yet. I'm just setting the groundwork. Oh, and the need of a day wants you to know, we don't get ads, because we sub. <laughs> she said, let you know right here. I'm not sitting through no, through no ads, okay, because... I'm premium. <laughs> Anita Bidet, who also has a blonde wig on. So I think that means she's a two-month subscriber or three. I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while since I made those badges. Two-month subscriber. Two months. Okay, blonde is two months. Yes. Well, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Molly Gold on YouTube says, James, would you ever play The Sims? I do play The Sims all the time. Like when I was traveling, like during All Stars, like doing touring and stuff, I was constantly playing The Sims. Even when I was doing the promo, like, I didn't go out and party. I stayed inside and played The Sims, too. <laughs> Which, honestly, I don't regret, okay? I was having a ball. The Sims 2 is so ignorant. It's so bizarre. I love that game so much because of how weird it is. And, like, all the stuff you can create in it with modding. The Sims 4, I tried playing, and I could not get into it. Like, it feels too much like a sandbox. Like, I just felt like there's no way to, like, really make anything chaotic happen. It's so safe. Like, even getting people into fights is hard. So, like, that level of, like, soap opera, like, novella drama that I wanted, I could not achieve in The Sims 4 for some reason. It didn't give me the same kind of excitement. Okay, so here we go. Let's start styling. Let me lower this a little bit now. The hair is curled. And we're going to start hacking away at this. So, basically, we got to put a base tease in all of this. Okay, Katie said, my friend told me how to fix a breastplate if you want to know. Oh, let's hear it. I'm sure you know. How would you do it? Let me know. Let me know. I mean, I rarely wear them anymore, so it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm fine not knowing the information, but I want to hear it. Just like, put it out there. It's good to share. Because, like, Ernie knows this. Like, I go through phases with my drag style where, like, for a full, like, eight months, I'll be all about the breastplate, and then I'll get obsessed with something new, and then I'm all about that. <laughs> the breastplate phase is pretty much, like, phased out. Also, it was just such a pain in the ass to design all my costumes around it. Like, it really limited what you could wear. 
Alright, she said, silicone can be patched with some stuff called silpoxy. It's a little hard to get right now and takes some painting skills. Okay, silpoxy. I wonder if that's what they use to like patch up like the polyfill in the back or something. Because I always heard that you have to use like the same kind of silicone in order to like do anything. Like it has to be exact same silicone. Like I know at Booster Queens, whenever like one would deflate, she used to have this service where you could like order a patch of the silicone from her to patch it up. Because that's the only way it would ever seal back. Also, she was super cool. You could order like swatches of how, like the colors to like color match for yourself. Like she was taking that business seriously. Duke said, time to tease and use the teasing emote. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I might get another emote slot. So if there's something else we should add, let's let's talk about it. What should our next emote be? Because I think I unlock more the more people subscribe or become members. So if there's an emote idea you have, let me know and I'll draw it up. Twitch, you can participate too. I might swap out one from there. I think I might get rid of, get rid of the wig head one from like the main tier, like the basic tier. Because no one uses it and it's kind of boring. So I might get rid of it. Alika Games on Twitch says, I know how to steam set a wig. But I need help with teasing a wig. Oh, well, I'm your girl because I love teasing hair. I don't like to like, if I'm not teasing a wig, I really don't really enjoy it. So I guess actually you need like a teasing brush like this if you're doing a big job like this. And I would say it's sort of like, you know, play boxing or like a cat punch or like in a circle. And just kind of all around flicking it, the pack flick motion. And you're not doing it too, too hard. You're just doing it enough to push it down to the root. That's the problem I feel like a lot of people have is they always pack it in so tight. And that's when you start to get like nesting happening where it starts to like nest, like get all tangled together. And it gets really hard and solid, and like a solid, like nested knot. You're not building the bird's nest. You're making a lovely cloud, a little pillow. And here Dan said, breastplates seem like they would be hot and heavy. Drag is already hot and heavy as is. <laughs> I mean, some of them can be. Like, the ones I used to get, like, that had, like, the jiggle and stuff in them that are filled with, like, silicone liquid, those were so heavy and so thick that they got so hot. Like, the Booster Queens were probably the best ones I've ever gotten. Like, they're more limiting in what you can wear, but they were the best designed. I will say that by far. Like they were light as a cloud and the colors in it were great. Like they had great skin tone options. Um, and they're filled with polyfill. So they were the, actually the lightest. Like I never had a problem with those. And the coloring on them are really good because I know with breastplates, especially like the cheaper ones, they absorb color a lot. So if you like put it against like a cheap dye, like a suitcase, like it's purple, you get like a purple patch in your tit and stuff. I never really had that problem with Booster Queens, but also I paid so much money for them, I took really good care of them. And cleaning them was a lot easier. Like the cheaper ones always got moldy. Yes, breastplates get mold. <laughs> if you don't wash them, they eventually start to grow mold on them. Well, Kristen on YouTube wants to know, what's the goal slash vision for this wig? The color is beautiful. Sorry if you already said. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't mind repeating myself. Um, I'm going for more of like a, a dandy kind of hairstyle. Think like um, Stanley Tucci in The Hunger Games, where it's like finger wavy, pompadour, kind of fun, you know, extravagant hair. Some guy with a lot of money because it's a drag king hairstyle. So we're going to try and stay in that realm of being very showy. It's not as much rugged as it is just like, you know, luxurious. Lux. But I'm just putting a base tease in it right now, just so we have something to like mold around and work with. We got a little tangle there. 
Got a little ahead of myself. Michael said on YouTube, Hey girl, how's it going? Can't wait till we return to the messy girls of Until Dawn. Oh my God, that game was a mess. I almost killed people with an icicle. <laughs> it was crazy how fast that game was moving. Like I was not prepared for it, but I'm excited. And I also heard they're remaking it. So I might play the remake too. We might jump ahead and see how much they change stuff. But I had no idea Hayden Pantier was in that or Ronnie Malik. Like that was nuts. You know, a Scream Queen and an Oscar winner, both in the same game. And where do you stream that? Oh yes, we stream that. Um, there's usually an episode every week on James Mansfield 2. We're not too tight on the schedule on that one. It's kind of loose, loosey goosey as far as the scheduling goes. But I play games on James Mansfield 2 on my YouTube channel and on Twitch. They cast there. So if you like horror, be sure and tune in for that because it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun over there. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. I'm also excited because I think the 22nd, that Princess Peach game comes out too. So I might start jumping around with video games soon. Ooh. Oh yeah, itchy face, itchy face, itchy face. There we are. There we are. Zombie Broccoli on Twitch said, good horror game remake came out today. Alone in the dark, no teenagers though. Oh, Alone in the Dark. That's the one that inspired Resident Evil, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that like really Lovecraftian? Like it's all like HP Lovecraft inspired? I never really knew much about that because it was a little ahead of my time, like when the original came out. I've only ever seen like it briefly mentioned when they did like Resident Evil retrospectives. And I was also never much of a Lovecraft girly. <laughs> a lot of my friends in high school were, but I just could never get into it. If I was going to read like a horror author, it's going to be Stephen King or something. Hello, Carly said, will you add the new channels to the description and your bio? They used to be on your community tab, but not anymore. What? I didn't know that. Are they not there anymore? I feel like they're there. They think they're at the bottom of the page. But I usually keep them inside my bios too. That's nuts. We'll look into that. We'll fix that if it's a problem. Oh, they're in like your bio, your main bio. Your oh, bio. the main bio. I should. I guess I never even thought to put it there. That's kind of an obvious thing to do. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that sounds like me. That does sound like something I would do. A mistake I would make. Zombie said, kind of Lovecraft feels very evil within. Oh, okay. All right. You know, again, like, I don't really know how much I feel about Lovecraft because I just never could get into it. <laughs> But again, like, it's also like Silent Hill. Like everyone always wanted me to play that and I couldn't get into that one either. I think it's like Resident Evil is so knowingly campy where like Silent Hill took itself so seriously. Except for that movie. That movie was all over the place. <laughs> that movie was a friggin' hoop. And that sequel with Kit Harington? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with our base tees. Well, Katie said, I know the owner of Boops for Queens. She's one of the local drag queens around here. Sharon, share like. She has amazing videos on YouTube too, where like she gives out like little drag ticks, like tricks and stuff. Like I learned how to sew in a zipper from her. Like she's great. Like Sharon share like is truly, you know, she's Sharon and share like, you know, she's sharing everything with her knowledge. She's great. Um, she's got tutorials on like how to build like wings and stuff or headpieces. Like she's awesome. Honestly, one of those true pioneers as far as like drag queen business women goes, because she made those boobs for Queens breastplates popular. Like that was her design. 
Like, she's one of the first, I think, honestly, she might be the first to have done that. Like, I don't know enough about the history, but she's the first I ever heard of it. Like, so much so that, like, Drag Race even was not, like, mentioning it. Ooh, okay. I listen on YouTube once, so ask. James, in your opinion, what is your favorite horror game? Um... I've always been a Resident Evil girly. If I had to go back to something, it'd be Resident Evil. Like, it's like Natasha Leone. But no, like, Resident Evil's always been my go-to. Um, when I was a kid, um, Code Veronica, Unimusha Warlords is a lot of fun. I should replay that one. That's a really, like, obscure one. I didn't realize how people actually knew about that game, but it was so cool. And I like, replayed it recently, like, while I was on, like, <clears throat> while I was on tour. And it holds up. It's still a really good game. It's very, it's really well made. All right, let's pack our teasing down. But um, horror games, probably Resident Evil. I got, I really wish I was more like well versed and like more well played. But again, like I only really play like a few things before I like, eventually kind of fell out of video games. Or like I played wrestling games a lot too. Like No Mercy, the SmackDown versus Raw. I was really, 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 really into wrestling. Especially if like there's that creative character element. Anytime you could create somebody, I was always just there. Like the creativity went wild. The like ridiculous women I would dream up and like make wrestlers out of. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I like that one. Ugh. But it's zero sugar, so we're doing a little better. Okay. Now I just brush it out some. And it's gonna look like I'm making like my classical hairstyle because I kinda am. <laughs> we're just gonna start chopping away at it now. So it's about to get really heavy of hair on this floor soon. All right, let me take my section of top out. Top section out. Zombie Broccoli said, this wig is looking awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a bit like a, um, like a glam rock carrot top right now. <laughs> but I'm living for it. I like it. There's a hair clip right here. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough to hold it, but we have one. So Christine Lockerman on YouTube just became a wiglet. Thank you, Christine. Welcome to the Wiglet family. We're a fun gang over here. Welcome. Hope you enjoy it. All right, let's start snipping away at this. Where are my scissors? There they are. Scissors. Now, I don't trim away too, too much. Again, I just start really little by little. And we're gonna cut at an angle and fray it. And we're gonna periodically cut it more and more and more. Prince Harmin on Twitch wants to know, did you play Rumble Roses? Yes, I did. That game was nonsense. Oh my God, Rumble Roses. And also brilliant, but also frustrating because if you wanted to like, the way they got this skirt around, like adding extra characters, was you could change the face's heel. Now, if you don't know wrestling, face and heel, a baby face is a good guy, a heel is a bad guy. So you're caught up now. So you could like change, there's a meter that would like determine like how dirty you played in the game. If you played it really dirty, they turn into a heel and then it unlocked a whole new persona. It was the most clever way of getting around adding bonus characters ever. <laughs> so like you couldn't play as their good persona if they're already switched over to their bad persona. You had to like play the game and make them win matches cleanly in order to get that character back. It was brilliant, but frustrating at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, I loved Rumble Roses. It's just, my only problem with it was it's so limited in its gameplay. And they had something really fun. Like, again, it's super, like, male gazy. But, like, as a little gay boy that was just obsessed with fabulous women, I didn't really even see it for the sex appeal part of it. I was playing it because I thought the girls were fabulous. And, like, had they catered more to that audience, I feel like they could have had something really unique. But again, like, it was made for the exact purpose it served, the, like, dead or alive style girls in bikinis fighting in mud. That's literally what it was. 
The fact that it got made though is pretty impressive. Like thoroughly a product of that time, of that like mid 2000s-y kind of thing. What was the other one? I think like a wrestling game that had a bra and panty match in it. One of the SmackDown games did. <clears throat> that was also like crazy that that was a thing. It was, that was once a feature they put in there. Or a fulfill your fantasy match where you can make them wrestle in like schoolgirl outfits and French maid uniforms. Like it's nuts. It's like shit that would never fly today. Snakes now on YouTube says, looking a bit like Ronald McDonald. A little bit. <laughs> She's probably gonna be serving a little bit of that too. Oh, apparently the lag is getting bad over on Twitch. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. I don't know why Twitch always has that problem. I think it's just Twitch, honestly. Like, Twitch needs to get together. Okay, so for the bottom, I'm starting lower and going higher. Because with men's hairstyles, they taper, so it's gotta be like long to short. All right, I just stop. I'm gonna restart Twitch's live. Okay. So. I'll pause my hairstyling so you can get it restarted. Just Don't go just... anywhere, we're gonna come right back. We're just gonna try and fix the, li the lag. I'm gonna stop it. All right, be right back, Twitch. I can talk to you recently. Yes, YouTube in the meantime, you're getting something exclusive now because Twitch has to like get re-caught up because they're moving slow. <laughs> they're slow over there on Twitch. Ugh, okay. Now I have to reopen my broadcast, my goodness. I have not restarted it yet. Okay, that's good. In the meantime, how are we doing over there? Duke using the teasing. Twitch can't keep up with our furious tease. Yeah, <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> Hey James, want to want a great oh, can't be horror game? Check out remothered, tormented father's very re vibe character looks like Jodie Foster. Remothered? It's called Remothered. I'll look into it. I remember I was playing that one song, song of that one game, Song of Death, and I could not get into it. It was so hard, and like there was no instruction in it. As long as it's like easy to follow, it has like Resident Evil vibes. I'll play it. I know there's another one they released that's sort of like an re clown where it takes place in a house or something. I saw a preview for it, so maybe I'll try that one too. Cause I love haunted house games. All right, we're back live on Twitch. Okay, hey Twitch, hope you guys are back. Hope everything's fine now. Hopefully that's fixed the leg. Welcome back, it missed anything. I'm starting to like cut the hair now again. <laughs> we took a break just for y'all so you don't miss anything. Okay. Right, so that's to explain what you were doing. Yes, yeah, so at the moment, I am cutting the hair. I'm doing small bits at a time because you never want to cut out too much. But for the back of the hair, for men's hairstyles, what I like to do is, after I already base teased it is, with men's hairstyles, it's long up top and it usually tapers down to really small. So when you cut it, you cut small to long. So this part is going to be long, shorter, this part's going to stay long. And with synthetic hair, you always want to cut like back and forth like that because it has to be uneven cuts. It can't be a full even cut or it's going to look choppy. <laughs> You're going to look crazy. All right, let's see the front here. All right, Duke wants to know, oh my God, next Jackie wig, can you do the can from Barbie and the Rockers? Craziest puff bang curly mullet ever. <gasps> Did he have like purple hair? No, that's that was Rio that had that. I have to look up the Ken hairstyle. <clears throat> Cause Barbie and the Rockers in itself was like nuts. Like she had lost her mind in that series. That series, like Barbie with just full triangular purple eyeshadow. It's insane. But I'm obsessed. <laughs> Apparently they had movies and stuff too, which I did not know. Again, like that was before my time. Like my sisters probably would have had those. Well, Matt Melves on YouTube gave you a super chat for five dollars. It said, "Loving the Wednesday slash Thursday wig day as always. A joy in my lunch break." Thank you. I hope you're having a good lunch. What you eating? Oh my gosh! I remember when I worked at <clears throat> a bank. It was inside of a grocery store. Let me explain. Okay, so in Wisconsin. <laughs> The grocery stores usually, or the Walmarts or anything, would have like a bank inside. 
and the one I worked at, they had like sushi delivery. It was like a new thing. They started having sushi in stores. So, like a person would come and deliver it. So I always have sushi whenever it was payday. I was like, I'm gonna splurge and spend twelve dollars on a sushi platter. <laughs> Other than that, my, my lunch was usually sad. It was usually like whatever Taco Bell would give us for free because we used to do their change order. Oh my gosh, dire times. Just sitting there getting chunky, eating Crunchwrap Supremes. Or like that was right when the Baja Blast Freeze came out too. Oh my God. Or whenever Wisconsin got it. <laughs> on Twitch says, Barbie and the Rockers was fantastic. Okay, again, like, I don't know much about it. Like, I know Darlene Dolphine, she sent me like a whole box full of like old Barbie and the Rockers stuff. Like, they have the Barbie, I think they have, um, I think her name is, oh, what the hell is her name? Because all the girls had different names too. Like, it wasn't just like Christy, Teresa, like they all, the band was all different people. Oh, I have to look it up. But yeah, good stuff. Really weird outfits and like kind of cheap too. Like clothes were super cheap, but it's also because like they were kind of doing some dirty pool when it came to Barbie and the Rockers because they totally just designed it so that it could come out before Jem. They can like beat Jem to the punch because they knew that was coming out and was going to be a big hit. And I will say this, like people obsess over those Jem dolls. I never understood why they were so popular because like they were like big and cumbersome and they couldn't share clothes with anything but their own dolls. Yeah, never liked them. Hasbro dolls never slapped as hard. Barbie really had cornered the market on that. Jake Rhetoric said, for sure, Ken. Oh my goodness. Ken, oh my gosh. Well, I could. <laughs> the problem with Ken's hairstyles is like, I remember when Trixie for once on Halloween dressed up as Ken, she just looked like Martina Mavratilova. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it goes very lesbian very very quickly, very Christy McNichol territory. <laughs> so if you want to look like Christy McNichol in the pirate movie, by all means, I'll do Ken's hairstyle. <laughs> someone on YouTube asked, have you ever given someone a haircut? I feel like you would eat. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, no, no. Um, no. <laughs> You'd think that just because I style wig hair all the time, but as far as like styling hair on a human head, that is like one of my biggest fears. Like it mortifies me. Like I love just being able to like do the hair in my own company, in my own time, and then put it on somebody else. Let them put it on. I don't want to be there when it's installed. Like Dolly Parton always said, like how long does it take you to do your hair? She's like, I don't know. I'm never there. <laughs> Duke said, just try sending you photos of my Barbie and the Rockers can on Instagram. Not sure if it worked. Off the look. All right. I think we got a good trim going here. A little bit more here. I don't see anything. Is it requested, maybe? I checked. I don't see it. Maybe it hasn't gone through yet. Everything could be loading slow, honestly. Okay. Our internet just hates us today. Yeah, our internet sucks. Oh my God. All right, now we got it to a length where I think I can start molding it. <clears throat> now, let's just start styling. Allison wants to know, James, have you ever tried a Foley's foam wig? A Foley, a what now? Foley's foam wig. I don't think I have. Doesn't sound familiar. What is it? Maybe if I like hear more about it, I'll be able to unlock a memory of what it is. Like a Foley's? Hmm, I'm not sure. The only foam wigs I ever tried on were like those Chris March ones that were at Target a long time ago. Those are the only ones I remember, like that Halloween Chris March collection. We get like the Marilyn and stuff, the barrel curls and stuff. I remember those. That's the only time I really, really messed with a foam wig. 
But I remember, like, for that Halloween season, every drag queen at Hamburger Mary's was rocking those things. <laughs> Lift this up so people can see a little more. Miss LeVixen on YouTube wants to know, I'm just curious, do you still use that fabric loose spray that you experimented with a while back? Will you recommend it still? Fabric loose spray? I mean like Aileen's? I still use Aileen's. Yes, I still use it. That's still like a good finishing spray for me. A go-to. I stand by it. It's good. I recently found a whole like, bunch of bottles of it in my garage. I was like, oh! it's like holy grail. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Someone asked, James, did you see Trixie's waving wig on the pit stop with Angeria? What's the tea? No, I didn't. Um, I have been watching the season though, so I mean, I'm so caught up. Honestly, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm like an expert now. Ask me anything. Actually, don't, don't. But um, yeah, <laughs> imagine, imagine how much of an expert I am. But no, I have to catch up on the pit stop. I'm so behind a lot of it. I watched my episode, and then I was just like so happy with everything. And it's like I don't want to, I don't want to compare. You know, I was already so good. I don't know who else, who else is gonna measure up. <laughs> I think they think you styled that wig. Oh no, I didn't style her wig for that. I only styled Trixie's wig that she wore in that episode. The like, pink wig. Yeah, the yeah. pink one. I styled that one for her. But as far as it goes, any other pit stop wigs, I can't recall her wearing any ones I've worn, I've like done for her in the recent like history. She's been very into hard fronts lately, I've noticed though. Lots of hard fronts. She just likes to put it on. Oh, it's starting to give dandy a little bit. A little bit Prince Humperdinck on the side. <clears throat> Royal Ronald McDonald. Anita Bidet on Twitch said, Aileen's is good, but have you ever tried the Niagara Faultless Starch? No. I like it better because it's more of an aerosol spray than a spritz spray. Oh, no, I haven't tried that. I'll write it down though. That sounds cool. I'm always open to trying like new products and stuff. Like, I don't know everything. I just know from what I've, like, experienced. And Aileen's just ended up working out because we were just experimenting one day with, like, sprays that were going to be good for holding. Because the regular hairspray sometimes just isn't enough. You need a little more. That and, like, Pump It Up was pissing me off because it constantly jams. Like, the top of it will break. And you have to, like, replace it or put it in a different, like, a different bottle or something. So that's honestly what I've been working through. <laughs> For Adventure's Time, just followed you on Twitch and said, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't know you were on Twitch. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the Twitch family. Thank you for like following. I appreciate it. This is a wig Wednesday right now. So we are styling wigs. Every Wednesday, you know, we'll do a live stream and style some hair and have some fun. You know, chat about whatever. Whatever nonsense we are obsessed with that day. Right now we are styling a Drag King inspired hairstyle. We're gonna do like a royally dandy kind of hairstyle. And right now I'm just like texturizing it. It's looking a little bit like Prince Humperdinck. I don't know if it's showing as much on the like monitor cause it's so bright, but it's giving like a nice like little wave. Well, it's bright because you want it to be bright. <laughs> yeah, that's completely my bad. Like, so if you can't see, my bad. As long as I look good, that's all I care about, really. <clears throat> Your vision is secondary. Okay. Yeah, literally, I'm brushing it out, and any little like end pieces I see, I just snip. If it, you know, it helps the hair sit better and it starts to look more styled. Oh, I gotta readjust myself. Okay. Gotta get higher. This is also starting to get a little loosey goosey. Okay, now let's see this back section. Move this here. Now 
the back, I'm just working on the taper right now. Like I said, upwards like that in a curve. Francis said, I just got here and I have to say, I haven't seen tinsel hair in a while. I like it. Thanks, yeah. Again, like, I saw it in like, like my wig pile and I was like, I haven't done tinsel wigs in so long. I forgot, they're kind of fabulous. Like they were a moment. Like everyone was wearing them for a hot second. Again, I'm just going through, pulling hair out, and tapering it. So I can do it from the sides. You can see, like, if I have a little teasing that's just kind of sitting there not doing anything, I cut it out. Because it should have hair at the base. Molly Gold on YouTube said, James, your brows and nose highlight are stunning tonight. Thank you. I actually put highlight powder on my bridge of my nose and at the tip. So I was trying something a little different. We're gonna have like a little Marilyn Rowe kind of nose. A little Marilyn-y. Wanted to do like a Betten nose. Yeah, you know, Tiny Tooth on Twitch gave you a little wave. Thank you for the wave. Oh my gosh. I wish somebody would raid. I want to see the raid thing come up. <laughs> I just did a sound effect for the raid that I think is super cute. I want it to come up. Also, when you're done with a wig, do they just go into trash? No. Um, they used to just sit in a pile in a bag before. Because it's like I just didn't know what to do with them. But now I usually put them on Depop. Or if I'm styling on a wig Wednesday, it'll end up on my website, jamesbansfieldbeauty.com. And you'll, you'll see it in the as seen on TV section. Or as seen on YouTube section, I should say. Depending on where you're watching. Yeah, there's still a lot of wigs we've got to put on Depop. Yeah, there are. It's like it's so busy recently, so like I haven't had time to like really go through and fix a lot of them up for sale. Because that's the other thing too, like I style it here, but then I also have to like do more styling to make it for sale. It's still TV magic, folks. <laughs> I usually style it enough so that's presentable for YouTube, and then I fix it up proper for sale so it stays that way. Oh, is it because I'm not talking that much? I get really into it when it comes to like doing layers and texturizing. Like I think it's so relaxing. And also with these hairstyles, if you're not careful with it, they can turn into like, you know, Karen Bobs really quickly. So you gotta like really careful how like how you taper it. But I'm starting to like the way it's the direction it's going now. Right now it's sort of like an old Hollywood kind of wave because I haven't like started spraying it down yet. Right, let's do this. Ronald McDonald Jr. Senior Prom. <laughs> I'll take it. That is very Hunger Gamesy when you think about it. Yeah, I, the vision I'm getting from that, oh my god. <laughs> like something someone's AI would have come up with. Oh my gosh. I need a day on Twitch said. She's starting to look like she's for me. <gasps> oh, is it now? <laughs> is that what that is? Someone's asking, how long does a good wig you treat last? A hundred shows? I mean, depending on how you treat it. Everything, ooh, drop my brush. <clears throat> everything will eventually start to break down with time. Like, no matter how well a wig is styled, it will eventually start to break down on you. 
So like, I, it's really hard to gauge, honestly. It depends how rough you are and how intense you perform. So if you're doing a water show, chances are, it's probably not gonna last. What's that? Tell the story about that baby queen at Dick's Milwaukee <gasps> that walked away from you. Oh my God, let's get into it. Okay, so story time. I remember one of my first times ever like trying to be nice and be a part of the community and like give back. I donated as a prize a styled wig. It was right when I first started the company and I was like starting to like venture into selling pre-style wigs. So like I donated a wig that I had styled and this baby queen had really like nailed the competition. She really won it and she won the wig and she took a picture wearing said wig that night. And then the next night she performed a high energy dance number where I believe she did like five cartwheels during the number while wearing said wig. And the minutes to say the wig got destroyed. <laughs> like she had ran it into the ground within a matter of like three minutes. She was also like shaking her head really wild. Yes, she yes she was. She did four cartwheels and was doing this shit like just whipping her head back and forth, like that one meme that's going around that girl at the Madonna concert, just like throwing her hair everywhere. It was just like that. Like you'd have thought she was at the Headbangers Ball. And she messages me later on that day, just like, hey, um, how do you restyle a wig after you performed it in a little? It was the a little that really got me. <laughs> cause I looked at her story, cause of course her dumbass posted the story of her performing in the wig. And I saw everything she did. I'm just like, well, you basically just have to restyle it entirely from the ground up at this point. <laughs> it was like, I, don't, I didn't know, I, my wigs aren't hurricane proof. <laughs> Our Gavaroni on Twitch just followed you and said, hey James. Hey sweetheart, hello. Thanks for the follow. Oh, itchy mouth, itchy mouth, itchy mouth, itchy mouth. Oh my God. The worst when you get like a face itch and drag. Oh. I think she also asked, like, um, how do you not, uh, what did she say? She said something after that, basically saying, how do you get the wig not to frizz up? And I was thinking, like, maybe just don't sweep the floor with it. Yeah. It was funny, though. It was very funny. It's just, like, you couldn't help but just, like, say, honey, at this point, I'd have to restyle it for you, and I just don't have the time right now. <laughs> Nor the desire, knowing what you're going to do in it. <laughs> what you'll put my hair through. So Hemo TV just followed you on Twitch and said, Hi Queen, Gabaroni brought me here. Oh my God, thank you. And thank you Gabaroni for sending him my way. My gosh. Welcome to the live stream. We are currently styling drag king hair. And right now we're playing around with waves trying to make the wave come out and pop in the hairstyle. Duke on YouTube said, Mistress did a good job restyling that red wig you made her on YouTube and it was pretty B. Hello, huh? <gasps> Thank you, I, I didn't make the wig for her. She just used one of my like James Mansfield beauty wigs. Like she used it as a base for her project. That was the fashion doll in red. And I remember I felt like an idiot because we were trying to get it to her and like she ended up coming to my like apartment to Brett pick it up. But she suggested doing Uber package and I felt like a complete moron because I was just like, what's that? <laughs> and rather than explain it to me, she's like, where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I know what Uber package is now, but it was a little embarrassing. I was like, oh, is that, that was an option all along. Who knew? <laughs> Technology is so strange. Gabriel on the answer said, you changed the way I look at hair. Thank you for showing a 15 year in the industry stylist to look at hair differently. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. Cause I always get used to like, when I was coming up, I had a lot of hairstylists, drag queen friends, and they always look at me just like, what are you doing? Cause like, I don't know what it is. I think probably from like working in beauty salons too, as like a receptionist and stuff, people get like an elitism kind of thing going or like a snobbery. Because I guess like you went to beauty school, so like you know your stuff, but like when it comes to synthetic hair, the rules go out the window. <laughs> like it just does not work the same. Like I remember being there and like experimenting with wigs and stuff and mentioning I'm curling a wig and they look at me like I was talking about elephant tusks. They're just like, there is just no way. You cannot curl a synthetic wig. And I'm like, well, how the fuck do you think it got curled in the first place? Like clearly there was a process. 
Yeah, I remember these conversations in the early, early years. Because, like, people just didn't know. Like, back in the day, like, in the 50s, women would take their wigs to wig shops to get reset. Or to whoever their wig dresser was. They didn't know what the hell was going on. <clears throat> All right, Louis. on YouTube wants to know, are we playing more Until Dawn tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? That's the plan. That's the plan, yeah. Probably tomorrow, yeah. It's looking like it. <clears throat> I haven't decided on what time we're going to start because those days usually start a little late. It's a raid. It's a raid, yes. Oh, my God. Did the alert, did the alert go? Yeah. Ah, oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Ah, oh, I see it now. Oh my God, I'm watching it. Look, at, where's the little, where's the little plane? Where's the plane? There it is. It's so small. I didn't realize it was that small. I'd have made it even bigger if that was the case. <laughs> Who's raiding? Who is it? Gandalf the Gay. <laughs> Thank you, Gandalf the Gay. Gandalf, I am curious. First of all, first, hi guys. I'm James Mansfield. It's Wig Wednesday, and we're styling a wig on live stream right now. This is on Twitch and on YouTube, depending on where you watch. And um, Gandalf, I have to ask, are you Gandalf the gay? Like, did you base your character on like those memes of Gandalf where he has really large breasts? Because I love those memes. <laughs> They're my favorite. <laughs> Just see Gandalf with these gigantic pendulous breasts. I, David, on Twitch said, hey, James Mansfield, from Loot to Lux, we're here for it. Let's get this wig snatched and styled. Yes, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we are here styling hair for a king. No particular king, just hairstyle for drag kings. Just giving you a little advice and ways of directions you can take your hair if you are a king looking to do hairstyling. Yeah, no, like I said, left my ass off. No, I did not, but now I will be Googling. <laughs> You're about to go down a wormhole, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pulling a side tab down for, if you want to use it for a sideburn or whatnot. This is also going to help butch the hairstyle up a bit. And Duke said, Gandalf the Gay says, you shall pass, hunty. <laughs> oh, I love that kind of carrying on. I wonder, what do you call your, what do you call your haters, Gandalf? Are they like, are they golems? <laughs> Are they Smeagles? Like, oh no, we have a Smeagol in the chat. Uh, people are saying, be safe with that Googling. <laughs> Google Gandalf with breasts. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably going to be some, like, slash fiction you're going to end up going down. Century Compass, I need to say... I have a wig for a character called Baron Boone Snobs. The pompadour is designed to go to hell when he shakes his head and he throws a tantrum. <laughs> I love that. I love anyone that creates separate characters. That's something I've always wanted to experiment with doing, to start creating other characters too. Because I used to do that all the time with puppetry. Like I had like several characters I would do. Just like make use of the stupid like voices I can do. <laughs> Ulterior Mocha on Twitch said, it's 11 inches. What's that? 11 inches? The oh, the wig. I thought they are making, like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what you're describing right now, but I'm here for it. Good for you. Ah, okay. This is going to a point where I'm satisfied enough with this side. Let's work on the other one. So I've been working on that one for quite a while now. All right. Someone asked on YouTube, James, has anyone ever written crazy fan fiction stories about you? Yes. There was one that went around that I will not repeat the subject matter of because I don't want it to get circulating again. But when I saw it, I was mortified and thought, you know what? This is going to stay where it, it's going to stay right there. But yes, unfortunately that does happen from time to time. <laughs> uh, I, I don't approve. Don't put me in your fan fiction. Leave me alone. <laughs> I am not flattered. No, thank you. A 
Rachel Terry Morgan said, I'm into wig maintenance now. Ooh, wig maintenance. I should be too. <laughs> Honestly, start cleaning my laces. All right, we're just gonna cut a little finger spit curl into this. That can be used as a sideburn. Yeah, ooh, yeah. It's starting to look a little bit like um, Twitch people, your video game people. What's the name of the guy with the red hair from the Legend of Zelda games? What's his name? It's like Ganondorf or something? Ganondorf? What? I don't know. I don't know. I never play Legend of Zelda like that. Someone said on Twitch, this looks like a has-been hotel wig. A what? I don't know. I don't know what that means. H-A-Z-B-I-N. H-A-C-B-I-N. I don't know what that is. Is that a character? I don't know. It sounds fascinating. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, yeah. This is coming together now. It's starting to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fun. I love him. Okay, let's start by having fun with the pompadour now. So, Ulterior Mocha subscribed for a one month tier on Twitch. Thank you, Ulterior Mocha. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Twitch Wiglets. We are a fun crowd. Ah! <laughs> Jose Martin on YouTube asked, How did the baking last night go? <laughs> The baking went really well, actually, I have to say. Um, we still have a full cake. I will say this. I may have overmixed the chocolate frosting a bit too much because the cake fell over it itself inside the cake display. So I had to like put it inside of like a full square Tupperware. So it's like a mound of just cake now with well, frosting. The video is coming out tomorrow and it's available for right now for all the wiglets on YouTube. Yes. Yes, yes it is. If you are a wiglet, you can have early access to that and watch my chaos unfold in the kitchen. Because as you all know, I dabble in cooking. I'm not the best, but I am a goddess. So, you know, there is that. I am a domestic goddess. Duke asked a hasbian, like an ex-lesbian, LOL. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, I don't have my Google in front of me right now. I don't have the capabilities, I'm sorry. But I'm sure it sounds lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, Terry Mocha said, happy to be here. Yes. And then Turnip Fitz on Twitch said, looks like my grandma's hair, but with sideburns right now. <laughs> Your grandma has some style, okay? She's got swagger. Again, like, those old lady hairstyles can definitely go that route. <laughs> we also haven't sprayed down the sides a lot yet. People on Twitch are saying it's looking like Ronald McDonald right now. A little bit. Again, like I knew it was gonna go like a Hunger Gamesy kind of direction. And again, Ronald McDonald has some fly hair, so I'm not mad about it. If you have a Ronald McDonald number you need a hairstyle for. You know, it's here. Andrew on YouTube wants to know, if you had a lace cleaning day, would you post a video to YouTube or would it be too gross? Not really. My laces don't get that bad. Just probably like the two wigs I wear for brunch. <clears throat> Those would probably be the grossest ones, but for the most part, it's just a lot of like making sure I spray it and like set it and forget it. But I don't really perform that much to where I have really disgusting laces anymore. When I was doing brunch constantly, yes, it would be pretty gross because I sometimes get very, very lazy. Because also the worst thing is smelling that alcohol first thing in the morning when you're cleaning it. Because I used to be my ritual to like wake up and just clean the laces. And also I overdid it on all stars. Like I constantly clean my lace every single time. Like before I put it on and when I took it off. Like you clean it again the secondary time. Because those cameras will get you. Luke De Silva on Twitch said, James, I love how you did God's work on that wig on the pit stop. Oh my God, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. It was different, something different. Again, like, I, it was fun because it pushed me to try something new. Because I normally, like, always will kind of, like, go samey samey. So I'm really trying to, like, go outside my comfort zone right now and do different stuff. And that was a funny little experiment. Someone on YouTube said, Tony Burner. Tony Burner? Oh, the wigs, what it looks like? 
That's a fun name. It does kind of look like Ronald McDonald. Now I'm looking at it in the camera and everything. <clears throat> but again, Ronald McDonald had amazing hair, so that's not bad. And there's a plenty of opportunity for like great numbers you can do with that. Oh, <gasps> Drag King, Ronald McDonald like number. I'm pretty sure Landon Sider's probably already done it, but still. Because what hasn't he done? But honestly, it's a look. It's a vibe. You could do like um that Burger Time song, that McDonald's, McDonald's. Or hot stuff. Lots of opportunity. Anita Bede wants to know, are you putting this one on your site or on Depop? It's going on my website because I hope we will, I probably will not be wearing this one at the end. But again, again, it's fun. And right now we're just experimenting with the styling right now. Because again, like, <clears throat> I don't usually do butcher hairstyles that often, so I'm pushing myself too. All right, let's work on the pomp part now. Pompadour needs some love. Kendra on, on YouTube said, Ronald McDonald wishes. <laughs> Honey, I don't knock it because I love me some McDonald. <laughs> if it gets me free chicken nuggets, I'm there, girl. <laughs> I haven't eaten there in years, honestly. Oh my God. Like we swore off that when I started doing fitness. Paraphrase that. Set it and forget it, Ronco wig cleaner. Set it and forget it? Is it like a real thing? I didn't know that. Again, like there's so many products I don't know. Cause like I'm just used to using whatever I like I've heard about. I need everything I said. Oh good, Depop still says you don't ship to my country. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really go overseas that much because Depop is like horrible with their rates there. Oh, you forgot she's from Texas. <laughs> oh, that's right. The, they, <laughs> she is from Texas and they seceded from the nation apparently according to, De according to Depop. It's international. <laughs> um, have your friend in what state's above Texas. <laughs> have a friend from there try and get it to you. <laughs> Or if you want this one, they'll be on the website. The website definitely ships to Texas. <laughs> Miss LaVixen on YouTube asks, Next month is my birthday, and I'm thinking of buying myself a wig stand, tripod, and canvas wig head. What is a good price point for something like that, and what should I look for in a wig stand? Um, I'll tell you this right now, they're all garbage. <clears throat> if you have to like order online, just look on like the websites and see what offers you a bundle. Like if you can find one that gives you like the canvas block, the wig stand and all that, just go for it. Cause the wig stands will always break down, but the canvas blocks are pretty good. Like they're gonna last forever. Unless you're doing like a lot of hair dyeing and you forget to like block out the canvas block, then it can start to grow mold. But for the most part, you know, the blocks are really reliable, but the wig stands, they're always gonna break down on you. So just get the cheapest option. Honestly, because <laughs> I've gotten ones that cost a hundred dollars. I've gotten one that cost thirty dollars. Like it doesn't matter. They always eventually break, especially if you really do like intense teasing. They can't withstand that. They weren't built for it. Apparently, I assume they were made for hairstyling, but apparently I'm wrong. Yeah, like I buy some cheap ones now. <laughs> yeah, like there's no point. Like you're just throwing money away. Like you just get it cheap and just deal with it. And like, even when they break down, like this one's technically broken, I can still work with it. Like for the most part, it's like workable. Like I can put up with it. It's a matter of what you're willing to put up with, I guess. Male gender other on Twitch said, asked, what do you think of the wigs in the new Avatar live action? I haven't seen it. I don't even know, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, um, no, the, um, the last Airbender. Remember we tried watching one episode of it, but we didn't get to it because we we're so busy. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, everyone's been telling us to watch it. And it's just like, I didn't watch the cartoon. So like, I feel like, you know, my, it's, the hype's not there for me. That was an anime that I really gravitated to. I know, also we don't have that much time to watch things because we have three YouTube channels to run yeah. and a Twitch. <laughs> so like, I'm watching anything, it's probably gonna be true crime. Once they, element, once they implement true crime into it, I'll probably watch it.
All right, we're getting somewhere now. Turning fist on Twitch said, I have to use a wig stand as a horror head prop in a short film I'm helping out on. Left my ass off. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like a head on a pike or something? It's like a cannibal holocaust kind of situation. <clears throat> also, what a build up for a movie that ended up being so over underwhelming. The cannibal holocaust movie. It was like a, a cinema nasty for a while, and like I was almost on those lists of like banned movies. When I watched it, I was like, this is what people were so upset about? I guess it was probably very, very shocking for its time. But I feel like it's a lot of those like video nasties. Like as soon as I watched them, I was like, okay, what was all the fuss about? <laughs> Someone on YouTube wants to ask, can you give a Jennifer Coolidge impression? <clears throat> I can try. I have a little bit of a phlegm in my throat. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Coolidge. Ah, there. <laughs> Gay boy. Oh, I haven't done it in so long. Oh. Literally me doing Snatch Game was the last time I did Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> no, that's not true. J. Cool has an Emmy was the last time I did it. And I like, kind of left it there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's overdone. So yay, James, you ate that impression. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After this, I plan to eat too. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a little hungry. We should get, figure out what we're going to eat for, for dinner. Oh, let's see. Oh, yes. Dandy, 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 dandy. He's looking just dandy. If you made it this far in the live chat, in the live stream, comment, what is your favorite color? Yeah, interactiveness. Oh, oh my God. Well, we'll let them do that because I just had an idea that I'll do because I'm nearing the end, but it's something that'll eat up some time too. So I had an idea the other day that I wanted to play with the, the people on YouTube and Twitch to make it a little more engaging. Are they commenting their favorite colors? Red, okay, red, I see there. Red, how, how fun, okay. Red hair, red, red, favorite color. Okay, what else? What else? Green, I see over there, yes. Wait, what were you saying? Oh, the idea I had? Yeah. Oh, okay, so here we go. We got a couple colors, so that's cool. Sweet, purple, sweet, 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 sweet. Now, I had this game idea I had. Now, I want you guys to guess. Is this a drag queen or is it a professional wrestler? Since we were just talking about Rumble Roses, I feel like it's very appropriate. I'm gonna name off some names and you decide whether or not it's a drag queen or a wrestler, all right? No Googling, just snap judgment. Do you think it's a drag queen or a wrestler? Okay, first name, Simply Luscious. Drag queen or pro wrestler? All right, while they do that, you got a $5 super chat on YouTube yes. from Andrew. He said, Jennifer Coolidge, master class. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, Juno Birch told me it's basically just Gollum. And that's it. Like, you're just trying to do like a feminized Gollum. That's how she does it. Like, my precious, Jennifer. Okay, we have a lot. You are saying wrestler, drag queen, drag queen. I'm gonna say wrestler, drag queen, pro wrestler, drag, wrestler, drag queen, drag queen, pro All right. wrestler. Now, who was the first to say wrestler? Just make a snap judgment. I have to give up two chats, so I don't know. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, pick I'm, somebody. I'm gonna say Scarlet Letter. All right, Scarlet Letter, you are correct. Simply Luscious is a pro wrestler. <laughs> good job, good job, good, good job. All right. Desiree St. James, drag queen or wrestler? I'm waiting for the answers. Okay, Alfonso Juarez said queen. He's right. <clears throat> that is a queen. Everyone's saying queen. Good, good. They... They know, it's like the name like that, that is a definite queen. All right, April Hunter, drag queen or wrestler?
Someone said corn star. <laughs> but Century Countess said drag queen. Lavender said queen. That's which. You're wrong. It's actually a wrestler. Drag. That is not a drag queen. That is a wrestler. April Hunter and whoever said corn star. I guess technically they're also right too. But I don't think she identifies as that. I think she thinks of herself more as a actress wrestler. But she does have an OF, so you know, go off. She's sweet. Wonderful gay supporting lady. Um, let's see, another name. International Crisis, Queen or Wrestler. Katie said drag queen on YouTube. Katie is correct. She watched Drake Herstory, she knows. <laughs> well, people were saying wrestler. Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, International Crisis was a classic queen from like the 60s. She's actually the drag mother of Perfidia, a wonderful hairstylist from New York. Duke said three names or more is a drag queen. <laughs> some of them are curveballs, like some of them will trick you. <laughs> Let's see who else I had in here. I had a few more. I was making the list while I was driving to the gym the other day. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> this one's a tricky one. Jasmine St. Clair, drag queen or wrestler? Perfect, perfect said queen. Asparagus said queen. Okay. Miss Levixen said wrestler. Levixen is right. Jasmine St. Clair was a wrestler from ECW. Well, I guess technically ballet. She don't think she ever wrestled. Yeah, she wrestled once. It depends. <laughs> but yes, good job. Good eye, good eye. She knows, she knows. If you know, you know. All right. SoCal Val. Drag queen or wrestler? Spirit just said wrestler. Spirit, she's right. <laughs> and Scarlet said wrestler. Yep, good, good, good. They know. That's more of a recent woman's wrestler name, too, so. <laughs> If you're around for like TNA, you know, she was the ring girl there. And I also did a podcast with her and Mickey James and Victoria, the God podcast. Nice ladies. So what is happening with this wig? I feel like it's just about there. I'm just kind of like spraying it and cutting it where I see fit. But it's a nice kind of like butchy, 1940s-esque kind of hairstyle. Very romantic. <clears throat> what I need to do right now is actually blow dry the sides so that they stay down further. Just like really cement them down. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good. It is a little like glamorous Ronald McDonald. Let's spray this side. When I spray it down, it starts to solid down like that. So it starts to look more like a man's hairstyle. <clears throat> Tea of coffee on Twitch said, so Tina Burner, which we don't know if this is still the real Tea of coffee or not. We don't. It could be an impersonator. Oh my God, a Tea of coffee impersonator on Twitch. Right. I mean, a little random, but it's fine. <laughs> Cosplaying as Tea of coffee. If it is or isn't, you're doing wonderful on UK versus the world. If not, you know, relay the message. <laughs> Larissa Brown said, living for the drag queen hairstyle. Thank you. We are just about done with it too. <clears throat> 
It needs to get blow dried, like the side birds need to get blow dried down, but that's pretty much to the final result that I want. Like I want like a nice curly pomp on the top and slick back going down for the bottom to create that nice butchy kind of hairstyle. I'm gonna put this egg on Twitch said. I love this wig so much. It's giving me female trouble vibes. Not the vine, but the lady with the daughter when she first goes to the lipstick salon. <laughs> <clears throat> I forgot about her. Oh my god. A hundred dollars for a wash and set? That's how you know they're from Baltimore or like Chicago area. They say wash. <laughs> To your coffee set, Snatch Game is a game, so I could be a gamer still. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it. <clears throat> I don't think it's the real McCoy. You're gonna message me on Instagram right now. Right, if you are the real thing. Prove it to me and then mow me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duke said on YouTube, if that were black, it would be Hardcore Little Richard. <gasps> oh, that would be super cute. Oh my God. Little Richard would be a fun one. Oh my gosh. He had amazing hair. Like the early, early years. Craziness. It's walking that fine line. It's like almost like a red Liberace looking at it. So you're like, fun. I like it. I think it's very Hunger Games and cool. All right. DJ Weak Ankles on Twitch said... I'm just here to say, I hope you had a great day today. Don't forget to hydrate and be kind to yourself and have a good stream. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not forgetting to hydrate whatsoever, okay? I, know, I wish we were having a good stream. It's lagging today. Sorry, you guys. Is it still doing it? Yeah. Oh, that makes me sad. Well, you know, we tried. We only can try our best, all right? Sometimes our best just won't be good enough. There's just some things in life you can't have, okay? I blame the ghosts. Right, it's the ghost's fault. Or we're not supposed to acknowledge it. Otherwise, we're gonna start getting haunted. Again, someone mentioned before, like if it's like in, in like um, what's that called? Paranormal activity where it starts to move the pool cleaner out of the pool. Like it's just helping you out at that point. But like if the if the ghost carries its own weight around here, I won't mind it. Like that one ghost in Angel with Cordelia. You know where it protected her. What a fun show. Ugh. Michael Harness on you just said. Loving it from Oregon. Oh my God, thank you. Oregon, wow. Anita Bay Day said, it's much better than it was before at least. Oh good. <laughs> as long as it's bearable, that's all I care about. You know, that's what truly matters. All right, now, if you swore it up like that, it's too feminine. So I'm going to take the ends and kind of like finger wave it down a little. That'll give it more of a manly kind of edge. Yeah, I think that helps it more to read more as male. My cone uses that Lactina. Lactina. <laughs> Floptina Copulera. Oh my gosh. Remember that was going around? Yeah. It's the stupidest like way of reading somebody ever. Like it's the most juvenile read. But I remember like, ooh, they really got her. But I was also in like high school. So it probably felt like a really solid read. Laura says that my dad is from Alaska and he says wash too. Okay, it's not just a Baltimore or Chicago thing. I wonder what that's about. Remember where I'm from, they called it the drinking fountain a bubbler, and people thought that was so bizarre when they came from other states. <laughs> I was like, well, you call soda pop, so I mean, examine your life. Oh my god, Millie said, right after James said ghost, the video skipped. <laughs> At least it did that demon thing that it does, where like the demon takes over and you start. <laughs> and Century said, the ghost is the hag from the quarry. <laughs> The hag of Hackett's Quarry. The woman of a certain age of Hackett's Quarry, thank you. You would not speak of Grace Zabriskie that way. <laughs> no matter how annoying she is in that game. But I feel like it's there. That's a great style. I feel like a good stopping point. 
So, um, let me just spray it a little bit so it's presentable. Now, <clears throat> how long have we been going for? I think almost two hours. Wow, okay, this took a little longer than I thought, but I also was like really involved with just making sure it looked nice. But yeah, this is our style. It's very Hunger Games Ronald McDonald, which again is a look. That is a look. You can't deny it's a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are a king watching this, thank you. And hope me, maybe I taught you something. If not, thanks for hanging out. What's we have to that? recreate this video in a shorter form because of the lagging. Right, right, right. right. Also, Which I wouldn't mind doing anyway. I know Adida, but they wants to watch, uh, wants to buy this. So how long should she wait till it's on the website? Um, it should be on the website fairly shortly, like either by tonight or probably tomorrow. I'll have it like prepared for like being on the site. Well, all you have to do is just like what finish it up and we take a picture of it. Yeah, I just gotta do like little finishing touches to make sure it's like solid and actually shippable, so it's not gonna like, fall apart on you. Because I only just <clears throat> I've only used hairspray on it thus far. But yeah, I mean again, just little things here and there. But it should be on the website very recent. You follow the Instagram page, Jane Maxwell Beauty. That's where we're going to post when it's posted. Yes, 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 yes. And thank you to all my new members over on YouTube, the Wiglets. If you just recently joined, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in and using the emotes and being awesome. And people that have subscribed on Twitch, thank you so much as well. Oh my gosh. This has been a lot of fun. Like, I've been really enjoying the live streaming process and, like, this whole, like, thing of doing it is brand new for me and you guys have been so patient with the fact that like I'm very much a new kitten trying to learn how all this works. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to do more and tomorrow we will be playing until dawn so check for that on James Mansfield too and on Twitch. Now I'm going to go and probably work on this a little more off camera and eat something because I'm starving. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and until next time. Bye.